Hello guys, my name's Richard from Silent Peak, and today I'm taking a quick look at Les in Luminar Neo. Now we're going to start with this image here. I'm going to take it and click onto the Edit tab. So here we are, normal edit screen, and to the left here, we have an option called Layers. Clicking on the plus button brings up the various different layers I have available. Now, in stock, we've got flares, we've got light leaks, stardust booker, and sparklers. Having found the layer that we want, so I'm going to go with this light leak here. I can just click on the plus, and that will drop the layer over the top of my original image. Now, if you're not quite fond of the effect, we can adjust this particular layer's opacity by moving the slider from left to right. And as you can see, zero means we can't see the layer at all. It's completely see-through. And then we have it at 100. We can also adjust the blending method. So for example, the standard is sort of screen. And that means uh, it's kind of like laying pieces of acetate together. Um, you can sort of see one through to the other. We can go for normal, darken, and lots of different options that will be familiar to those of you who have used uh, other layer-based editors. We can add additional layers just by clicking uh, the plus item again. And you can add pretty much as many as you like. Now the other thing we can also do, we can actually add an additional image. So if you're wanting to blend two different photographs together, you can. And by doing that, we can click onto the plus, click onto my images, browse to an image, and select it. And as you can see, we've got the option to blend multiple photos. Any layer that you choose can be manipulated, so we can sort of move the layer. We can also rotate the layer, and we can resize the layer. You can also change the stacking of your layers. So for example, if we would rather this one be below one of the flares, we can do exactly that. But the one thing we can't do, which you certainly could on other editors, is move the original photo. So for example, if we wanted the picture here of the young boy to appear at the top with the other layer sort of shining through it, which is an effect I like to use on Photoshop, you can't do that. Uh, the way around it would be to actually import the same photo again and basically have a dupe. And then we don't use this one at all. We just make sure that this one is 100%. And then we can sort of build on that effect. Anyway, that is Les. Um, it is more simpler than other applications. However, one of the nice things about it being simple is that it is easy to use. And also if you're just sort of sticking with the simple features, like adding various different flares and such, you can have a good time with this. If you're looking for more advanced layer-based solutions, um, things that give you adjustment layers, ability to drop in shapes and text, there's ACDC Ultimate. But of course, nothing does layers quite like Photoshop. And if layers are important to you, there's nothing really better. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Luminar Neo is a great product. Lots of other things in this. If you want to know more, uh, drop by uh, the review at Silent Peak. Uh, but until then, I hope you have a very good day. Bye-bye.